It is quite possibly the most beautiful weather I have ever experienced in my entire life. Like 65, not a cloud in the sky little bit of a breeze. This is the good stuff. So October in Tennessee. Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel and to the video. My name is Steven and I am a second year dental student. I'm here in the beautiful quad at the University of Tennessee Health Science Center and it is a Friday which means the D2s have operative dentistry today. And today we have a unique opportunity to learn a very common aesthetic procedure that a lot of dentists will do and that is veneers. I figured this was a great opportunity to bring you along and kind of vlog this experience of learning veneers for the first time. So hopefully I do well on it and hopefully you learn a little bit of something as well. But as I always do when I start my videos in the quad here, I'll catch you in the lab. We had, we had a YouTube channel as when we were like in so what happened? This sixth seventh grade. What? What happened? Why'd you get all camera shy? I don't know. Why you do the intro? Why yeah. you do the intro? We can all just stand behind you, like in a team. Really awkwardly. Hey, this is turning into a thing. <laughs> oh, okay. There you go. There you go. Yeah, no. Agents it's Friday, so agents are gonna be frisky. Yeah. All right, I am here early in lab to do a little bit of setup for this operative lab. We typically have like an hour of lecture before we actually start working. So we'll have an hour lecture on the veneers, what they are, how to do them, and then we'll get to work on learning how to do it. And it's Friday, so everybody's got that Friday energy. Okay, so the lecture is all finished up and we have basically veneers to do on number eight and nine. I'm just gonna try to do eight today and we'll see we'll see what how it goes. The first step is to prepare the tooth. So we take off a little bit of the tooth structure um, on the facial aspect, so the part that you can see. And then after that, we'll I'll be putting in a composite veneer. So just doing a little bit of composite buildup test the skills on forming the composite and finishing it. So we'll just see how this goes. But the first step is the prep, which is very minimal. So we'll see how I can do on that. And before I show you the final product over in the mannequin, I wanted to just show you the mixture of burrs that I'm using. We have a couple of burr blocks to choose from here. This is sort of a crown prep burr block with a bunch of different stuff. But these, these burrs are pretty big. So what I have here is a, a finishing kit, which is typically used for finishing composites. And this burr block has a bunch of tiny little burrs that really work well for this application, trying to get into the interproximals of this prep. So this is the current one that I'm using here. Really, really small little burr. And like I said, I'll show you what this looks like here in a second. Patience being really good. So here's what these veneer preps look like. They're super, super minimal. One of the benefits of veneers is we don't have to reduce a ton of tooth structure. So if you came to this video because you're interested in getting veneers for yourself, this is kind of what it's gonna look like. There's different ways to do this, of course, but this is kind of what your teeth will look like when they reduce the tooth structure. So it is a very, very small amount of reduction. You can actually see it right here. 0.25 to 0.5 millimeters of reduction on the entire tooth structure, extending into the interproximal space a little bit, and then just right down to the incisal edge. As you can see there, there's no incisal edge inclusion in the prep. So now I'm gonna go in there and layer some composite and try to make this look natural and nice. So we'll see how I do.
Okay, so I wanted to just show you the initial work here. So this is the composite just placed onto the tooth and I've gone ahead and cured that. So the next step will be going in with instruments, with burrs and really shaping and adding anatomy and contouring this. So that's step one finished. Okay, so check this out. This is the final product. This is a composite veneer on number eight and it came out really good. For my first veneer ever, this is, I think, pretty solid. So we'll get some light on there. Hopefully you can see this well. And you can see just how much composite is covering this tooth. Everything that's visible from the facial is covered in composite. So all those interproximal areas we've got covered. But then if I flip the tooth up onto the incisal edge, you can see where the composite starts in the natural tooth structure would need it. So once again, if you're interested in getting veneers yourself, this is kind of an idea of what you'll be looking at, the amount of tooth structure that you're gonna lose and what it's what's gonna replace it. So I'm pretty happy with this result, but the most difficult part about central incisors is matching them. So as much as this one might look pretty good, now I have to make number nine look exactly like it. So we'll see if I can do that. But that is actually going to have to wait until next time because it is late on a Friday and I can't finish both today. So I'm gonna be happy with just doing number eight. This was a successful lab. It's always really fun to learn to do new things like this. And I'm really excited to bring a lot of cosmetic dentistry into my future. So learning veneers, day one of kind of understanding it and learning how to do it, it's pretty awesome and it's pretty rewarding. So I'm gonna clean up all this mess that I've got going and I'll catch up with you outside. All right, so that's going to do it for this video. And I just kind of wanted to give my thoughts before you go on this lab and just like what I thought about this whole learning process. This video was kind of like a last minute decision for me to make. It wasn't one that I planned for a long period of time, but I'm really happy that I decided to make it because one thing that I want out of my career in dentistry is a really solid grasp on aesthetic or cosmetic dentistry. And today was really, in my opinion, my first tiny baby step towards that goal of being a great cosmetic dentist. Of course, I wanna be a great restorative dentist as well. I don't wanna just do cosmetics, but that's definitely something that I wanna offer my patients in the future. And today was literally my first kind of dipping my toe into this process of making anterior teeth look really nice. And I had a blast doing it. It was a really fun lab. I really liked the way that my number eight came out and so it just kind of gave me this optimistic outlook on the veneer thing and I look forward to offering those to my patients in the future. I had a blast making this video. I had fun in lab today on a Friday, which is pretty rare. And if you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think about the process of veneers. I'm interested to see if there are anybody that watched this video because they themselves are interested in getting veneers on their teeth because I think that'd be a really cool, cool thing to, to cross the world of pre-dental and dental students with people that are just interested in dentistry from afar. But once again, let me know in the comments what you thought about this video and let me know what you wanna see in the future if you wanna see more of these kind of quick vlogs of me just showing you what it's like to be a dental student and to learn these wonderful, cool things that only a select few in our population get to do. I had fun making this one and I appreciate each and every single one of you for stopping by and watching it. Make sure you give the video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to stay tuned for everything that I have coming out in the future. I think there's going to be a whole lot that I'm doing in the near future, especially when my time kind of frees up a little bit. So it's Friday and I'm going to enjoy myself. I find myself ending these vlogs a lot on Fridays, but it's fitting, right? I hope you all have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend, wherever it is or whatever time it is for you. And as I always say, I'll see you in the next one.